You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we've got a huge comings and goings update for you about Leslie Charlson, who plays Monica Quartermain. I have very little doubt this is about the Bobby Spencer death plot, and I want to dig in and tell you what the spoilers say and what's about to happen. If you haven't, though, please click subscribe. And now let's dig into Monica's return and what it really means. Do you remember the last time we laid eyes on Monica Quartermain? It seems like we keep hearing she's at this medical conference and that medical conference. Wasn't she at like a spa weekend? Just one thing after another. The last time I recall seeing Monica in person in Port Charles was February 2022. She has, I think, one or two credits on IMDb subsequent to that. But if you look back at the episodes that they list, she was name dropped. That was all. She hasn't been on, as far as I can recall, since February 2022. That's 22 months ago since we last saw her. And out of the blue, she's back this week. If you don't recall, Leslie Charlson has had some health issues and she seems to be retired or semi-retired from GH. That's why we just hear her name drop now and then when it's relevant and, you know, they'll say somebody talked to her on the phone. She's at a medical conference, this, that, the other. But now she is back and it's got to be about Bobby Spencer. So I've told you guys before that James Patrick Stewart and Fanola Hughes, the actors that play Valentine and Anna, said at a fan event that the Bobby Spencer death storyline starts at Thanksgiving. Then last Thursday's daily promo showed Tracy looking at a photo on her phone and crying. I guessed this was about Bobby. I said so in a video. And then on the soap on Friday, they showed her talking about Luke and how much she missed him. And then they showed their wedding photo. So the assumption was she was all teared up about Luke. So I admitted to those of you who ask in the comments that I may have jumped the gun a bit. But now I'm actually thinking I wasn't wrong. I was wrong about the message she was looking at on the phone. But I don't think I was wrong about her being upset about Bobby's death. Okay, I think Bobby is already dead on the soap. So did you notice on the Monday, December 11th episode that Tracy seemed really off? She was crabby as usual, but then she was also overly emotional and she had no explanation, no solid explanation as to why she rushed back to Port Charles. She tried to say it was to pick up some papers and she didn't trust other people with her papers, but Lois and Olivia didn't buy it and I don't either. Then, even though she was really happy about Brooklyn and Chase's engagement, when she hugged BLQ, Tracy looked inexplicably sad, like out of the blue, really sad. So here's what I suspect. I suspect Bobby Spencer died in Amsterdam already. And Tracy rushed back to break the news to the family, but she's waiting on Monica Quartermain to be there for the announcement. In the new GH weekly promo that came out Monday, December 11th, Monday morning, we see a scene of Tracy with Monica and she asks her sister-in-law, are you ready for this? And Monica does not look very happy. Being that the scene is in an office at General Hospital, I expect that they are about to make an announcement to the staff that the beloved former head nurse, Bobby Spencer, has passed away. So I do think that when Tracy was on the plane, although she was looking at a photo of Luke and her, I think it was Bobby on her mind or more so Luke and Bobby both being gone. Okay, because thinking of Bobby, you generally think of Luke as well and vice versa. So I will also say I do not expect Leslie Charlson to stick around for too long. As I mentioned before, she's had some health issues and seems to be retired slash semi retired. But they clearly want as many legacy characters back for Bobby's death story as they can get. We've already got old school players on the scene daily, like Laura Spencer, like Anna Devane, Robert Scorpio. And now we've got Monica Quartermain. I still don't think Tony Geary will show up, but maybe, maybe he'll surprise us. I just wouldn't expect it. Don't expect it. And that way, if it happens, you'll just be pleasantly surprised. And I do think the reveal is going to be that Bobby died suddenly of something, either in her sleep or instantly of an aneurysm or stroke, something that was instant and painless or that she just never woke up. They're going to want to be respectful, honoring her legacy and Jackie Zeman's family. 
Luke's flamboyant death in a cable car accident rigged by Victor Cassidyne is okay because Anthony Geary is still alive. But I don't think they're going to do anything wild like that out of respect for Jackie's family. I've also gotten a ton of comments, by the way, about my saying Tony Geary is happily living in Amsterdam with his husband. Uh, We even got one pretty nasty email, basically implying that I was inventing things because they couldn't find much on Google about him and his husband. Here's what I'll say about that. Google has changed their search algorithm a while back. And it's garbage now. You may have noticed when you type something in you're looking for, you get something that you weren't even asking for, or you get like Wikipedia or some really old, outdated articles. Google has changed to a thing, not to get too tech nerd on you, called search intent, where they show you what they think you're actually asking rather than what you are actually asking. It's insane. Google really bites right now. I It's painful. For, I don't like using it. So there are also a handful of poorly researched articles when you Google Tony Geary married, Tony Geary husband, anything like that, with titles about the mystery of his romantic life. Others say outright and incorrectly that he's never been married. There is no mystery and Tony is not hiding his sexuality, not at all. He is just not on social media, but his husband is, and they've been happily married since 2019. I will show you a photo here of their civil ceremony posted by his husband, Claudio, who captioned it, hashtag my wedding, hashtag Tony Geary. And there's them with the officiants gavel at their event in Amsterdam. They married just a few years after Tony retired from General Hospital as Luke Spencer. His husband is on Instagram and he posts several photos daily. And most of them are him and Tony eating dinner, playing with their cat out together in Amsterdam, looking all loved up, you know. So this rude person who contacted my boss actually called me, quote, reporter like they put it in quotes and was very nasty and made clear they thought I was just making things up didn't know what I was talking about so anyway that's all the oxygen I'm going to give to that Karen but suffice it to say Tony is happy he is married he has been happily married to his husband for years he is not hiding anything they live a very open and happy life in Amsterdam and if you spend 30 seconds instead of reading trashy tabloids that churn each other and actually go look for something, go to Instagram and do hashtag Tony Geary and you will find plenty of pictures of him and his husband. As to his return a while back, Tony made it pretty clear that he was not interested in coming back for any price for any reason. But if anything could convince him to return, I think it could be the death of his longtime scene partner, Jackie Zeman and on-screen sister, Bobby Spencer. On the occasion of her of her very unexpected death uh, earlier this year, Tony Geary said she was one of the kindest, sweetest people he ever knew. For now, though, it definitely looks like Leslie Charlson is back for the reveal of Bobby's death in Amsterdam. And given Tracy's off-kilter behavior and unexpected and sudden return, I suspect she was in Amsterdam when Bobby died and came back to deliver the news, but she's waiting on Monica Quartermain's arrival before they start telling people. I see Leslie Charlson's return as Monica as bittersweet because while I'm glad to see her back, and I know you guys will be too, I know it's for the very sad occasion of the death of Bobby Spencer and Bobby's funeral and the tribute to Jackie Zeman. I expect this all to start rolling out very soon so that it's done before the holidays are over, which gives them, you know, a couple of weeks to make it all happen. One last note, while many wonder if Cameron Matheson's character, Drew Kane, jetting off to Australia is a sign they're exiting Jason's twin. The actor insists that's not true. He was recently at Christmas Con repping for some of his many romantic Christmas holiday movies and said he's definitely not leaving and is having the best time on GH. So if you were hoping to see Drew sidelined so that Carly could move on to other romantic prospects, it's not happening. Not now, at least. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments on Leslie's return and be sure to subscribe if you haven't and come back soon for more on General Hospital because we're here talking GH seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 